Hi, this is Brendan from Watto Training and in this tutorial we're going to look at the Strathpine Driving Test Car Park Departure. This is a view of the Strathpine Test Centre Car Park. The yellow lines show the ins and outs of the car park onto the road and the orange arrow on the right of screen shows the designated parking bays for driving test vehicles. It's recommended that C-Class learner drivers park with their, the back of the vehicle in the car parks prior to starting a driving test. That way they can drive straight out when they start their driving assessment. The white car as seen in the diagram shows the correct parking position for the start of a driving assessment. In the background of this shot you can see the Strathpine Transport and Main Roads Department Customer Service Centre. Error number one is turning right immediately when coming out of the car park. We can see that if the driver turns too early that they will impede on the parking bay next to them and the red witch's hat shows this in the diagram with the orange arrow pointing at it. Error number two is turning right at the Pillar A reference point. Pillar A is the support, the support pillar just near the windscreen as shown on the diagram and you can see again from the red witch's hat that the back wheels are heading towards the red witch's hat. Again, not accurate with the right turn outside of the car park. We progress the car forward and can see that the red hat is being chopped by the back tyres of the white car. So we know that turning at the front tyre or turning at pillar A is too early. We need to push back our reference point for when to turn a little bit further along the vehicle. So the recommended reference point for the correct technique when turning right out of a car, car park is to turn at the reference point of the B pillar which is just to the right shoulder of the driver. So the green arrow shows the driver would move forward and once pillar B reference point is met that the driver would start to turn the steering wheel to the right to leave the parking bay. So the diagram shows that the driver has done this and as a result the back wheels have cleared the red witch's hat reference marker. We can also see on this wider shot that not only is there space from the back wheel to the red witch's hat, but there is also plenty of space from the parking bays on the right. Additional safety tips. To set up for success, the learner needs to position the seat and steering wheel correctly for maximum vision. Needs to actively scan the car park environment Scanning means a driver takes in the whole scene 360 degrees around their vehicle. Learners must be aware of what is in front of them, behind them and beside them. This ensures that they are ready for unexpected hazardous situations and have the time to take necessary actions. Look for hazards in the car park. A hazard can be any possible source of danger that could lead to a crash or incident and could come from any direction. Make sure your learner's scanning is focused and attentive. Learners must keep their eyes on the move. Learners must use their peripheral vision. Peripheral vision is vision as it occurs outside the point of fixation that is, away from the centre of gaze. The learner must be aware of their blind spots, such as the window pillars, door pillars, rear panel and driver's side blind spot. Shoulder checks, also known as head checks, reduce the risk of colliding with a vehicle or person in your blind spot. Check your mirrors as well. Use the see, think, do model. The three parts of hazard perception are see, think and do. C. Scan the car park with your eyes to spot any hazards. Think. Think about what you need to do ahead of time 
to respond safely. And do act in response to the hazard you see, for example, slowing down or creating more space. Judgment. The applicant should judge and utilize a safe gap in the car park when pulling out without causing other road users to take evasive action. The applicant should make a correct decision and respond appropriately with regard to judgment of the speed and distance of any vehicles or pedestrians in the car park. Other road users can act unpredictably, so be prepared to take evasive action if necessary. The learner should keep two hands on the steering wheel, either at nine and three or 10 and two. The applicant should steer a safe and steady course and maintain the correct course in a manner that is appropriate for the road and traffic conditions. The applicant should operate the steering wheel in an appropriate manner, that is, hand over hand or the pull push method. The applicant should signal in the correct direction, right in this case, long enough to give sufficient warning to other drivers and pedestrians when intending to depart the car park. Don't rush and take it steady. The faster you go, the longer it takes to stop. And if you crash, the harder the impact on another vehicle, object or person. This has been Brendan from Watto Training.